welcome to the Hungry Bookworm. Today I have a sports edition for you sports fiction fans out there. Now we have two books for girls and two books for boys because we want to keep things equal. The first book is from Simon and Schuster. Thank you very much. And it's a girl book for basketball fans. Hoops, Ella of the Ball by Elena Deladonna. Now, Elena Deladonna knows her stuff. She eats, sleeps, drinks, breathes basketball. And I think she has some, she was a little kid. She was on the women's basketball Olympic team in 2016, the one that took the gold medal. She's also been an ambassador for women's basketball, does camps and oh, you name it, she's done it. Now this is the first book in her series. And in this book, Ella has just gotten into the seventh grade and she loves basketball. However, this year she has a problem. During the summer, she grew. She didn't only grow, she grew, grew. And she's over six feet tall, which would be great for basketball. That kind of irritates her that everybody thinks you're tall, you should play basketball. However, she has a problem. Her body grew too fast for her to learn how to handle all these legs and feet. So she has a little bit of coordination issues. Not only that, and this is even worse, in her school, they now in the seventh grade have a ball and it's going to be graded. And so she's supposed to do ballroom dancing, basketball, ballroom dancing. Eh, it's not quite her thing. And to make matters even worse, she has to go dress shopping, be a seventh grader, over six feet tall, trying to find the perfect dress and a dance partner. How many boys are over six feet tall in the seventh grade? None. So it turns out to be quite the drama. This is for ages eight to 12. Next book I have, also Simon & Schuster, is a basketball book for boys, Power Forward by Haina Khan. I haven't read this one yet. It came out the beginning of May. I'll be reviewing it on my blog, Bookworm for Kids, next month. Now, this book is about that boy. He is in the fourth grade and he has huge dreams. He's going to be a famous basketball player. He's going to be the first Pakistanian American famous basketball player. One issue, he's on the D League and that stands for developmental. Not exactly the kind of things that becomes American pro. His best friend Adam is on the A League and he is determined to catch up with him. And that's what this story is about, I understand. It's not that long, 120 pages. Oh, I wanted to show you how cute little basketball things at the beginning of each chapter with a couple. Yeah, there you go. So that's that one. Next book, Simon Schuster as well, is a baseball book for girls by best New York Times bestselling author Mike Luca. It's called Team Player. And this one is about that girl. And she's Casey. Now Casey loves baseball. She's been on her baseball team for a while. Her father's the coach and she knows her team well. And they're pretty good too. However, this year her father has thrown in a new twist. He has a new player. And this new player is a girl who is awesome in baseball. She catches every hit. She can throw, she can bat, and she is just amazing. And they know that with this girl, they're going to win almost every game. There's one problem. The girl is autistic Asperger syndrome. And if anybody talks to her or, oh my gosh, touches her, she freaks out. And the team doesn't really know how to handle her. They don't like, they don't know what to do with this girl. Well, Casey decides to take it on herself to be the person who brings this girl into the team and makes friendships with her. Unfortunately, Casey doesn't really know what she's doing and gets herself into a huge mess. This book is full of baseball, so baseball fans will love this one. And it's a little bit longer at 280 pages, but it's a fun read. The last book is another book for boys. This one is about track. It's also from a New York Times bestselling author and Strymon and Schuster. It's by Jason Reynolds. Now this is the third book in his track series. The track series has been also a New York best time seller. Um, a no national book award finalist, Kirkus Review's best book of the year. It's won all kinds of reward uh, ah, awards. The first two books in this series are Ghost and Patina. This is the third book. Now these books don't necessarily have to be read one after another, although they're all very good. 
Sunny is written in diary form, which is a little bit different than the first two books, and it's about this boy, Sunny. And Sunny is the star of the track team. When he runs, he wins. There's no question about it. Problem is, Sunny doesn't like to run. He loves the track team because the track team are his friends. He has not many friends. He lives with his father, his father and him. Yeah, they could get along better. And he's homeschooled, so he doesn't even have the normal school life around him. So track is his life. Problem is, Sonny has another desire. He wants to dance. That's not going to make his dad happy. And the track team, he's not sure what they'll think. And as I said, he doesn't want to let them down. Now, this one is, as I said, written in diary form. Let me see it like that. And Sonny is funny. His mind is all over the place. It's not necessarily a funny read. There's a lot of drama involved in it. But Sonny's mind is as full of energy as his track feet. This one also came out in May. And it's a great read, too, for all those sports people out there. Now, I'm going to head off. We have summer vacation, but I'll see you again soon. Until then, don't forget to feed that bookworm.